Hi everyone, Yasa Askekalos Irtata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a comforting recipe that my mom makes every time I'm in New York. She makes this for the kids. It's a shrimp she calls pilafaki, which is just a cute way to say shrimp and rice pilaf. It comes together in no time. It's just a few simple basic ingredients and it's on the table in like 30 minutes. You really can't beat that. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we do is we want to make sure that the rice is ready. That actually takes the longest because you need to soak it. So I have one and a half cups of plain white rice. This is not basmati rice. This is the, it's called long grain, but it's not as long grain as basmati rice. It's a shorter grain rice, Carolina rice. You could use like an Uncle Ben's parboiled rice. That will work too. So will jasmine. But if you want to use basmati rice, it'll be much lighter. Go ahead and do that. You're going to need one and a half cups for this recipe. Go ahead and rinse it under cold running water a few times until the water runs clear and then cover it with some more cold water and let it soak for about 15 minutes. Once it's done soaking, you're just going to want to drain it and then it'll be time to put it in the peel off. Then over here, I have one pound of shrimp that's been peeled and deveined. My mom usually takes the tails off. I just leave them on and I feel like they add more flavor and I don't mind the tails in there, you guys. It's up to you. If you want to leave them off, leave them off. I have my pot heating over medium heat. I'm going to add some butter to this and let it melt. I usually use salted butter because it's not too salty, but unsalted butter will work too. I don't know if I mentioned that the shrimp has been lightly salted and I've also added some black pepper and just tossed it around so it is seasoned. Once that butter is melted and the pot is nice and hot, I'm just going to cook the shrimp about 30 to 40 seconds on each side. They will not be fully cooked and I'm not adding them all in at once so that way they can get a little color and they don't release too many liquids. Once the shrimp is done, go ahead and transfer it to a bowl or a plate. Add two garlic cloves that have been grated and if the pot is too hot, you're just you're going to want to reduce the heat so that way it doesn't burn or I like to completely turn it off at this point. You could add a little more butter if it's looking kind of dry and just toss the garlic in there for about 20-30 seconds until it's nice and fragrant and it's ready. You don't want to overcook it so it doesn't burn and become bitter. Then I have frozen corn. It's an odd ingredient but it tastes so good. It's nice and sweet. So I add about a cup and a half or so. I don't measure. This is one of those recipes you put as much as you want of the corn in there. If you don't like the corn, you could do green peas. Go ahead and put the corn in there and season it with a little bit of salt and just warm it through for a minute or two until it thaws out. At this point, I'm going to drain the water from the rice that's been soaking and I'm going to add it to my pot with two and a half cups of chicken stock. If you want to add water, it'll have less flavor or vegetable broth. That's fine too. If you're using basmati rice, you're going to need less water for this and less stock. An equal amount of stock will do one and a half cups for the basmati rice, but I add more because this rice is a little bit starchier. I'm also going to add a teaspoon and a half of salt and I'm just going to give this a mix, bring it to a boil. Once it boils, reduce the heat to a simmer, cover the pot and let it cook for 15 minutes on low. Then while that's happening, I have two scallions that I'm just going to thinly slice and just add them on top of the shrimp because after the 15 minutes pass, you're going to go ahead and uncover the pot, add the shrimp and the scallions to the rice, mix everything up, cover it again and just let it simmer for another four to five minutes so the shrimp can fully cook and everything can come together. This is so delicious with some fresh lemon juice on top, some finely chopped parsley. If you prefer dill, you could do dill instead. And that's it. It's ready to serve. So just like that, the meal is ready. There are so many variations you can make of this. I'm, I use corn today, but you can use your favorite veggies to make this. It's up to you. Let me know if you're using different veggies, which ones you're using in the comment section down below. I like to serve this with fresh lemons because the lemon really brightens everything up. Some finely chopped parsley. Of course, if I had some right now to show you in the video, I'll probably take them out later. Definitely some feta and olives go really nice with this. A nice green lettuce salad would just be delicious with this. Let's do the taste test. Mm, so good. So delicious. I usually don't use this rice because it kind of mushes a little bit, but I like it because it just 
it's just comforting. You know, anything that your mom makes and that you that you recreate at home just makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Those are the feelings I'm getting, but it's so good. The corn makes it nice and sweet. The shrimp is so delicious over this, perfectly cooked. The lemon is nice and fresh. I hope you give this recipe a try. It also tastes really good with tzatziki and that garlic bread that I made. If you wanna learn how to make that garlic bread, click over here and I will see you right over there. Yes, yes.